music video. You have to go, ah, 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 staying alive, staying alive, ah, 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 ah. Staying alive. So today I'm going to be checking out a band called The Bee Gees. I have totally heard of The Bee Gees because I've seen the movie Saturday Night Fever and I know they sang this title song in that. Today we're going to be checking out a song called Staying Alive with no G on the stain. I know this from the movie again. Staying alive, staying alive, ah, 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 staying alive. But I haven't actively listened to the verses and stuff, so that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna actually hear the song for the first time. You may have heard it in passing, but have you really listened? I don't know what the Bee Gees as a band look like. I'm gonna think that they probably look like John Travolta in Staying Alive. No, the movie was called Saturday Night Fever. So there was a song called Saturday Night Fever and there is a song called Staying Alive and they're both in that movie. So yes, I'm gonna assume they have like white sparkly clothes, bell bottoms. Do they dance? Are they like a boy band? We're gonna find out more about the band after we listen to the song, so let's do that. Good news, our pals at Surfshark are back to bring you a portion of today's video. Surfshark is a VPN, that means virtual private network. I didn't really understand why we needed VPNs a couple of years ago, but now I'm like, we need VPNs. A VPN swaps your real location with a virtual one, AKA it changes your IP address. My favorite thing about Surfshark is that I can travel virtually anywhere in the world. This is good because it means you can access all kinds of streaming services, like for example, the Netflix libraries. This Christmas in my house, we are definitely gonna be using it to watch Christmas movies. That's one last bite your family can have on Christmas day. Surfshark's clean web feature blocks ads, trackers, malware, and phishing attempts and allows you to surf the web safely. They have given me a lovely promo code for you guys. Go to the link below and enter promo code Diane to get up to an additional six months for free. And if you're still on the fence about it, Surfshark offers a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you change your mind, there's always that. Thank you to Surfshark for continuing to support this channel. On with the video. Should we snore really loudly? Can you hear him? I'm so sorry. <laughs>
lumps are tiny. I don't think I can go that high. Was that manipulation in After Effects? Would they have done After Effects back then? Or did he really sing that high? We shall find out. Were people just really tiny back then? Like their bums looked so small. And I don't mean that in like a sexual way. I'm just saying their bums were really tiny. Not now, Mommy, get your water in a little bit, okay? He has water downstairs. He's just tapping. He also has water in like five different corners of the house. And he wants the one that goes in that corner. Don't worry, he's not going to dehydrate. What became of their disco music era, their falsetto was their unmistakable trademark. For sure. Robin Hugh Gibb has the distinctive voice. Oh, they're brothers? Oh, that's interesting. Let's learn out more about the band. The Bee Gees were a musical group formed in 1958 by brothers Barry, Robin, and Morris Gibb. Maurice? Morris? Morris? Were they British? They were British. British Australian. They did have that vibe. Would they have been considered heartthrobs? Mm. It definitely has a cute little butt. Everybody's got a cute butt. I have a cute butt. I cannot find a definitive answer. Let me know below in comments if like they were pinups. Because I feel like it could go either way with that. Oh, they also wrote songs for Diana Ross, Barbara Streisand and Kenny Rogers. I am not familiar with Kenny Rogers whatsoever, but I know the name. Oh, oh, I know this. Staying alive is used in CPU or training. So if like you're giving somebody, you have to go, ah, 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 staying alive, staying alive, ah, 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 staying alive. But you don't have to sing it. You just have to stay on beat. That's the other place I know it from. Local Australian DJ Bill Gates. Not that one. Renamed the brothers group to the Bee Gees, later to the Bee Gees. Spelling was with the letters versus the phonetic spelling. After his Speedway promoter Bill Good and Barry Gibbs initials. Thus the name was not specifically a reference to Brothers Gibb despite popular belief. Ooh, it had like many, many interpretations of the name. Oh. Apparently they had a lot of backlash. White men between the ages of 18 and 34 who loved rock felt excluded and even threatened by the disco scree scene. Scream. The phrase disco sucks. Oh, I've seen that written on stuff. Was a clear pejorative term. Ooh, Billboard in February 1980 banned disco. That's insane. Why? It's so fun. Disco. Is that true? Are you a white man who was around then? Did disco suck? Or was it like just the cool thing to hate back then? Like, you know how it is? Like sometimes you're like, it's cool to hate that thing. Oh, as young boys, they used to sing on street corners in Manchester. Oh no. Why is it always this story? Why is it always the same story with these musicians? The Bee Gees brother Andy, who was also a musician in 1988, died at the age of 30 due to drug abuse. It's so sad. It's so wasteful. The group split in the 70s and later reunited. You'd probably have to, given that you're siblings. They were brothers who also struggled with drug and alcohol addiction. That's so sad. <gasps> Meth? No way. Oh, okay. They walked out of the Clive Anderson talk show after growing tired of the host's continuous jokes about their music. I guess they were like a laughing stock as disco people. Let me know below in the comments what you think of that below. That's the impression I'm getting. Interesting. I have no idea. I know I definitely seen the term disco sucks written on stuff, but I thought it was just like a minority. But okay. They're more appreciated now, maybe? That's it for today. See you guys on the other side. Bye.